So, you met history, you've had that great year, then you know, moved on. Still a big part of this team, obviously, today. Fans calling your name. What's it like to be back here today? Uh, it's just awesome. Um, seeing some old teammates, seeing some, uh, some old alumni, uh, running into some like, guys in the clubhouse and in the locker room I haven't seen. Um, it's, yeah, it's just been a great experience so far. A lot of the guys I've been talking to, you know, it's even hard to fathom that you're know, quote-unquote an old-timer. But the game has changed even since you left it, with the analytics and you know, the different metrics that pitchers have available to them. If you were playing today, what do you think you know, your pregame prep would be like, and how much would those analytics help even to bring your game to another level? Well, I mean, I, it's, it's funny how, like, um, scouting has changed. Like, I mean, I used to do scouting myself off of, like, VCR tapes, right? Then we went to DV, DVR, DVD. Um, I love the information. I think there's a certain amount of uh, certain people you can give that a lot of information to. Certain people can. I think you have to figure out who those people are. Me, myself, I love the information. I, I would be more interested in uh, hitters' weaknesses, pitch count selection, what they swing at, you know, breaking balls, and, and you know, just those percentages would be important to me. The spin rate, stuff like that, I feel like you know, that's always been around. Now they've kind of quantified to put numbers to it. But, you know, the late life, the kind of the ball that has carry, the, you know, that, that late sink. I mean, these are certain things that the terminology is more basic, but now they've kind of put some numbers to it. But uh, I feel like the analytics has always been in the game. It's just the verbiage has kind of changed. And uh, for me personally, I, I enjoy a lot of it. Uh, there's some that might be a little bit too much for me. Some guys can handle it, but I do love uh, the information. And the other thing that's kind of changed is the definition of who I want to start. <laughs> and, you, know, you were pitching now yeah. with, with your numbers and, and how deep you pitch into a game. And yeah. How much money do you think you get? Well, I mean, game? you think, I mean, money is one, but you also think longevity. You know, if you're pitching five and six innings as opposed to trying to, you know, pitch more innings. You're, you know, you're, you're taxing your arm a little less, so then you can pitch more years, and that can be for you some more money, too. But, uh, you know, hey, the, the dynamics of the bullpen has changed since we were here. You know, I mean, some of my best friends were guys in a bullpen. I'm like, bro, I said, you've been making so much money now. They're like, oh, I know, you know. These guys that were the seventh and eighth inning guys before are, you know, now uh, are making some, some really serious money because, I mean, they're coming and getting big outs. So I, I really appreciate that they're getting their due. But uh, some of the veteran players are, like, a little bit too late. <laughs> and, and lastly, growing up or even when you were a player and old-timers games came through, you know, your hometown or when you played, was there any player that you in particularly liked? Uh, Kirk Gibson's my favorite all-time player. Him and Pete Rose are my two guys. They, they always played the game hard, played 100%. So those are my guys I always followed. That's